Hello there. Comes around quick this time, doesn't it? <sighs> It, it, this week especially because we've been in Frankfurt yeah, it's like busy. oh my head now, you I was know. chatting to Joan she was saying that she had an amazing time have you seen some yeah. fabulous companies that yeah you yeah it were really good it's good as well because I mean obviously we know a lot of people within the industry but when you see things like that it reminds you what a very small bubble we are yes you yeah. know I mean our industry is huge yeah oh, the yeah. amount of people and it's worldwide you know it's countries that you just don't even think would be crafty for some crafty reason presence. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know why we do that as well, and I know I'm not alone because I was chatting to people. And you do, you have this, oh, you know, they, do they craft there? But there's certain countries Worldwide. that you know, I mean, we see a lot from the Netherlands, don't we? We yeah, see a lot yeah, from yeah. America and, and Germany yeah. as well. And, and it, it, like you say, it's, yeah. it, it, it is funny. Well, talking it's, it's, talking it's of amazing. America, we've got an American company, yes. um, Dare to be Artsy, which I love the name. Very cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and hello there, if you're watching. Um, Cindy was the founder. It's a family run business, a small business. Okay. Um, she wanted to produce something all made in America. Right. So the okay. stamps, the dyes, the papers, all um, designed, manufactured in America. Um, and she wanted something, and, and, and she is arty, you know, she teaches her kids to be arty and to do something different. I really like these the designs. Fun, yeah. There's a lot of detail in these, the quirky. Um, I really like the freshness of yes. some of these. Um, I feel every single one has multiple uses. It was hard choosing because mm -hmm. I like a lot and you know what I'm like. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, my plan of action was just to have, you know, five in one shell, five in the other, but because it's a bundle, we can't yeah. really do it like that. But you can see the detail. I mean, we're whipping over them. Every single one of them yeah. deserves so much time Definitely. and this is the problem because we've got so much on the show but every single one of them is just amazing so if we start from the boot because we only kind of whip round it I mean when you have a look at that now this one it's got Halloween on it when I'll be honest I love that boot, when I picked this, this was <laughs> the very first one I picked the reason I picked that were because it's a witch's boot um, it reminded me of the Wizard of Oz yes it reminded me of just fabulous shoes and that one <laughs> good witch or bad witch it's all about the shoes so th for me that isn't Halloween yeah. for me that's every day of the week as long as you've got good boots and you're feeling a bit witchy and I'm just looking at this finished sample here because that's got the boot but if you were to cut it along that edge there I think that's got a bit of a bodice look about it yeah 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 it and does. also the shoe there yeah. and I'm seeing a tassel there yes. as well so you can really cut into that, can't yeah, you? Yeah, that probably says more about me than anything. The bodice, <laughs> boots and a tassel. There we go. I'll leave that one with you. <laughs> oh, weekends. <laughs> <laughs> but these are brilliant. And I love this where you've got this good witch, uh, bad witch. Yeah, yeah. And I need to say thank you to the team who've sent these in. Um, because I've done a few samples, obviously. But these have been sent in from the team. And they are just fabulous. See, I think this boot, it just lends it itself for phenomenal colour. Colouring Doesn't in. it just? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely brilliant. And I mean, you can, yeah, this is my favourite, yeah. favourite, because it's it's obviously a witch's boot and well, it's lovely people are watching that um, they're feeling that as well um, it's one of the busiest ones that we've got um, so yeah it's in the lead uh, next is our lovely owls this is another one of my favorites i've got oh i love this i mean <laughs> they're cool there's lots of the little doodly detail on there as well um you've got the beautiful little branch with the the blossoms on and of course you've got your sentiments um you're, you're a hooter uh, smile um <laughs> love owl ways from all owl <laughs> of us you know and and so on so forth but I love that and the back of the packaging on this one is nice because it gives you some inspiration on coloring mm -hmm. which is lovely but yeah they're absolutely beautiful are our owls where's um, our owls? Oh, there they are. Um, we've got that many finished samples I'm quite conscious of time <laughs> as well so we'll just yeah, give you a couple of little ones because we've got so many choices with these we could spend the whole hour going through all these fabulous finished samples so that is the being problem. quite mindful of that one if I was your choice though again it's the same item number incidentally this is the price delivered to your door 17 pounds and nine pence and it's not a brand that I know exactly is this because we don't tend to see them in the UK yeah I mean I've never seen them before yeah. you know um, and obviously if you're looking at shipping mm. from yeah well, this is what it I can be thinking. really expensive but, I mean if you're shipping from overseas you, you the best part of probably tenner yeah something yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. Then by the time they arrive if they go through customs quite often you'll have a fee that yeah. you have to pay just to literally take it from them exactly and then you'll have your, your customs 
fees on top of that, like your VAT and things like that. Yeah. So the price on the screen we've got there, that's a very yeah. keenly priced uh, it price. It is, it yeah? is, and the lovely quality mm, stamps. Yeah. They're yeah. absolutely lovely. Just need to mention seven days um, extended delivery with these because they are coming from America. Superb. Okay, next. Now, the papers. We've got papers on the show. These really go with these. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love them because they are zesty. Yes. You know, they're bright. They're, they're, they're really, really uh, lovely. I can't read the sentiment, so I'm going to have to whip that round. Sorry. Uh, when life hands you lemons, the possibilities are endless. Make something sweet, grab salt and tequila. Yes. <laughs> uh, live life with zest. May your troubles melt like lemon drops. I love that. And We've squeeze the day. We've got some beautiful papers love that, that. will work alongside yes. those as well. Check yeah. those out. Jump ahead and have a little look at those. They're gorgeous. Um, I love that squeeze the day. So yeah. this, I think that's it. <laughs> Next one is your, your... Now, this is beautiful as well. The lovely home. I love this because... Um, look, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. See, I think that you need sentiment... That with your boots. You put with the boots. <laughs> yeah, definitely. See? <laughs> um, you've got... And you could... You've got the, the lovely clouds in here so it could be storm clouds your little house could be flying off yeah. you know um, and of course you've got the tree in there as well uh, family makes a home at house a ah. house a home <laughs> <laughs> sorry I can never read the sentiments okay <laughs> next one you've got the beautiful air balloon and I love air balloons I just think this is fabulous mm. the sky's the limit journey miss you I love the heart in this one as well I think that's gorgeous that one has got dyes that match with this one um, there may be miles between us but our heart are by our side by side which is lovely and that's isn't nice it? because it's tying in the hot air balloon with that little heart stamp you've got yeah. there as well yeah nice idea. really pretty um, those are the first three five choices but you've got five more starting off with these gorgeous kind of autumnal leaves and these are beautiful i'm just turning them side so we can see them proper so which is going to be difficult because now i can't reach so <laughs> this is lovely because you've got loads of detail in that aren't they splendid beautiful absolutely gorgeous this is my second favorite favorite i adore that you like autumn oh, anyway I, I love yeah. autumn, but I love, I like this because it looks like they've got um, doodle, it looks yes, like it's uh, it's then doodles, yeah. Um, autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. Love oh, it. Oh, that's nice. Next we've got, um, and I'm going to struggle to tilt these now, sorry. Um, next we've got the beautiful flowers. Um, and this is absolutely gorgeous because obviously something like that, you've got the detail of the sentiments, you've got the lemons there, um, and again, really fresh and it will mix and match beautifully with the other um, with the other stamp that we've got next we have got and I'm whipping through these I now. love these yeah this, this is my other favorite this is so different and we've got papers that match this Perfect. and the papers love are it. amazing Fabulous. I love this this is another <laughs> favorite I mean he's got such presence there um, beautifully illustrated and of course you've got the sentiments as well Beautiful. next we've got uh, you've got two more uh, we've got the shine now this is lovely I mean these are big flowers yeah. really really Gosh, gorgeous detail about them as well. yeah yeah mm. absolutely and then last but by no means least this is another one of my favorites I love this Cute. I love this stamp again it's that wonderful sort of doodly imagery yeah, nice. that's going on there You've got Happy Mother's Days, but of course it could be anything. It could indeed. Now 699 855 will get you any one of those sets. And of course, as you can see, they're Freedom members delivered to your door, just £15 and nine pence. Beautiful examples that have been sent through, I have to say, but I do need to let you know about a giveaway that we have during this hour. And we also have a giveaway during the two o'clock hour that Leonie's with us. So do what indeed. are we going to have? Um, shall I show the giveaway rather than finish samples? Um, so what we have got, and I think this is if you're buying isn't it oh yeah just order anything boom yeah. yeah so one lucky person in this hour and that means it will announce the winner later <coughs> as well doesn't indeed it? Mm -hmm. look at this three all three of sets them? of stamps <gasps> no uh-huh and these are cool My look goodness. at that look at that wow. stamp and when you think about it you should be paying well more than 17 pounds well, and nine pence i was just going to do the maths set. but i only got as far yeah. as 17 pounds and nine pence uh, 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 I? <laughs> I love that because that works so well with the flowers that are on the yeah. show i love the borders um i'm wondering i'm looking at these and wondering why i didn't pick them so this is a problem <laughs> it's too there's many so to many gorgeous ones and this is cute i like that You're just because it's cute awesome. yeah <laughs>
Isn't it fabulous? Isn't it fabulous? I really oh, like that. That's cute. Freebies. Yeah. So some lucky amazing. person. Right, yeah. I'll show you some finished samples so, before. Yeah. Um, while Leone shows us the finished samples, all you need to do is place an order. You're looking at £19 for one set of stamps. So to get three of those, add a bit of a freebie for placing your order in this hour. You can understand why many of you will be jumping ahead and having a little look to see what else you can fill your baskets with. Loads of fabulous examples. Very William Morrissey feel to many yes. of the things that we're looking at in this yes. hour as well. And the papers <laughs> have as well, which is lovely now this one i wanted to do another but look 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 see these are l's new dies nice yes and look at the little owl oh cute done it work oh. with the journaling <laughs> love that i had to show Fabulous. that there you go so if you're wanting your <coughs> 699855 couple Sorry, of bits to share with up. you um, if you are wanting to add anything else into your basket you might want to actually cut out some of those elements that you've seen beautifully if you do want to then by all means please do so the dies here will allow you to cut out the stamps that we saw just a few moments ago so you've got a different item number but it does mean that you don't have to cut them out yourself 460333 pounds and 99 pence you've got your witch's shoe um you've got your lefty and your righty there as well you've got a little start and of course you've got your broomstick to boot as well it's a nice set that one i like this one oh, makes I love it easy this. for cutting out doesn't yeah, it yeah yeah absolutely these mix and match perfectly so this is going to mix and match with the witches um with the witch's shoe. Uh, you can see there that's been easily die cut out. Then it shows you on the back, you know, again, you've got a little bit of inspiration. I mean, you could use that independently, but I think obviously you've got the detail. I think it works well together. Yeah, it yeah. does. It Maximizes does. the uses, doesn't it? That's a yeah. Thing. So uh, four six zero three 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 being that all important item number. Do check out though because there's loads of others that you want to might want to get hold of the spider web. When you first look at this, it doesn't mm. actually look like a spider web. I know it think. doesn't. Uh, this one doesn't overlay on the stamp. This okay. is an independent one. I really like this. You've got that lovely detail. Mm -hmm. You've got that lovely <laughs> detail spider. So you've got the bat there. You've got the wonderful little spider mm -hmm. and the boo, um, which is fabulous. It, of course, mixes and matches mm -hmm. with your witch perfectly. Yeah. Um, but it's independent. It is indeed. So uh, 465019199. Going to scoot through as quick as you can because yes. I know we want those need demos. Them papers. We do need the papers. Now, those papers. Um, the lemon zest, of course, we saw the stamps earlier on. So are these going to cut out? Yes. So these will cut out that one. Oh, so I it's see. Yeah. That stamp set that these will marry up with, which is that one. Okay. So you can see they're going to cut out. And I mean, that is such a good stamp set you know squeeze the day you <laughs> need that in your life yes. don't you <laughs> and uh, yeah again it'll give you that detail it's quick and easy then with something like that i was going like to say that. you could do that on the t-shirt but maybe not a good idea that just get you in so much yeah. trouble <laughs> <laughs> now next one you've got here what we've got here oh no oh this is the hot air balloon yes. it's like you're looking at it trying to figure out what it was yeah. i thought it was a petal for a uh, minute no these are the hot air balloons i like this a lot so it's cutting out the hot air balloon it's cutting out the cloud and it's cutting out the raindrops i just used it for the hot air balloon Clever. but i really really like that i think it's lovely nice effect so if you're wanting the dye to go with the stamps there you go 18 pounds and 99 pence at 563889 last one that we've got to share with you oh this one's a pretty oh, one as well these are gorgeous sorry i'm getting bits the little and bobs. peacock now i'm going to actually turn the packaging around because on this occasion obviously we've got the stamps to work with this but this is where it does give you that indicator of those papers that we've got coming up as well this is why i'm urging you to have a little look at some of those bits and pieces notice these dies are they on magnetic sheets yes. when they come to now, you some oh, of them are okay. some of them are okay but that one is, is which yeah. is brilliant because it helps that storage mm. um yeah i love that these. is fabulous i just the stamps are beautiful to be able to come out cut them out with the dies absolutely lovely but they're one of them you are going to love coloring those in they're superb absolutely gorgeous uh, freedom members discounted price so 19 pounds and 79 pence to go along with that freedom members discount that you'll be getting on the corresponding stamps um, mm. so if you wanted those eight six four six nine three now the papers, the papers i can understand why you love these these are so nice mm. these are heavyweight papers made in america these are quality Gorgeous. very heavyweight they are of course printed both sides you're getting three of each design i mean look at these designs look beautiful. at that isn't that a beautiful I paper i love that 
fabulous, isn't oh, it? Oh gosh, yeah. Absolutely fabulous. I love the colour palette with these, um, the design elements, obviously the quality. When we were talking about William Morris, I mean, yes, look yeah. at that paper. Exactly, yeah. It's got that richness. It's mm. got that beautiful pattern. And of course, the you know, all the natural patterns again coming through. Um, I love that one. And also, look something I that. noticed with these as well, you've got quite blocky colours with these, so you yes. haven't got shading with these, so it's quite crisp. Yeah. The colour uh, that you've got good with them. Good solid colours, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and again, really, really good strong patterns. I think everyone's well my favourite though. Look at oh, that. look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. I absolutely adore the Paisley, Paisley. Peacock. You've Suda got the gorgeous. peacock. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Just beautiful. Um, yeah, really good quality, again, these. Again, 19 99 brilliant value for money. All of those double-sided sheets um, on their way to you for that price. So 598017 if you are wanting those. But, of course, we did tease you with the uh, the lemon papers, which Indeed. is the bundle that we've got next as well. Double-sided again. Zesty. <laughs> um, and these, again, are beautiful. I wanted these because I thought we're coming into spring, summer, the bright, the fresh, mm. the really, you know, the really, really um, happy. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, That's the, the best word, description yeah. for them. They're all double sided. Again, the patterns are absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. That's, That's Isn't nice. It's like good yeah. colours on yeah. it. It's really, really, um, yeah, joyful, I mm -hmm. find these. And when you look at those, easy to cut out as well. Yeah. But yeah, aren't they good just point. lovely? I love the little ladybug, the yes. little ladybird appearing yeah. in all those isn't pages lovely, as well. Isn't it lovely, see? And they're a really good yeah. weight. Nice. So whether you're using them, see, this is um, like the, the, the thing I made for in my art journal. Yes. They're brilliant. So if you're into your planners, if mm. you're into your, your journals, point. using our L's dies, uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs dies, they go so well. And it's nice, the sentiment behind the, the stamps that go with these. So if you are having a bad day, or you yes. know somebody going through a bad time, inject a bit of humour into it and yes. a bit of colour with these as well. Squeeze the day. Squeeze the day. Obviously my favourite one <laughs> of the whole show. Sure. There you go. Zero four. <laughs> 46536. You'll find these on the website along with everything that Leonie is working with. So do have a little look. There's lots and lots there for you to consider. So yeah, pop those goodies into your basket. Take advantage of them while you have the opportunity because with um, products like this, we never know how long they're going to last. So uh, yeah, do make sure you pop them into your basket while you've got the opportunity. Um, the Witch's Shoe is proving to be very popular. Um, you're liking this one, not surprising really. You've got the fabulous side web featuring as well as those very trendy looking boots. Do like the look of them. Um, so yeah, whichever you fancy popping into your basket, to um, just add them in, check your basket out. But don't forget, Leone is here to demonstrate all these goodies as well. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hand over to Leone now. What you got for us? Thank you very much, our lovely Hayley. Well, do you know what? Because I do love those lemony ones. I've got two demos this hour. Um, if I can do three, I will, but you know how it is. So I've actually prepped... Mm -hmm. I've, I'm organised. See how that goes. So what I'm using, I'm not going to use a witch's shoe yet. I'm going to use that in my next demo. What I'm going to do first of all is the lemons. I love these. I like them because I love the detail. I like the, the sentiments in these. I like them because they're bright, they're fresh. You can use them with so many other things. They're really, really beautiful. So what I were doing, I were mixing and matching them actually, but I'll stick to one for now. I'll stick to that one, but I do want the... Um, the the sentiments because the sentiments are fabulous i'm blessed to have a friend like you friends make life fresh you know they've got some lovely lovely sentiments now what i'm working on is you pour paper um because i like you pour paper you can do loads with it now i i were doing this i changed my mind when i was doing this so my my demo went a little bit different but i'll well, I'll show you where I was going. The reason I'm doing this is because what I was going to do originally, but then change my mind. So I was going to do this, um, have it in a circle and just stamp and keep it within the circle. But then I ended up cutting the circle out. But at least you'll be able to see sort of where I was thinking originally. So bobbing my stamp on there. I'm using my WOW embossing uh, pad. So I want a nice sticky pad and I'm going to be using my white um, WOW embossing powder. So let's put it on and it will lovely seeing WOW and the gang. WOW and the gang. Uh, we saw them at Frankfurt and we also met the very talented and amazing um, Seth who is going to be on her chanda. We've got Seth and I've got his show. <laughs> so great. It ended up, I felt like I was being a bit of a stalker, really, because I saw him a lot. And it were, 
quite fabulous anyway and hello to anybody who who we met over there i know there was um so many incredible stands it's so exciting now then the detail of this is exquisite i can see you probably won't be able to see this at the minute because it's clear on too white but i can see it and it's beautiful these stamps are beautiful now that bit i missed but i'm not going to worry about that because i can see i missed it it means it allows me to go back in and layer it up with a different uh, with a leaf now that is really handy because it doesn't matter if then if you do go a bit wonky with your stamping so i'm just gonna line this up like that now that one slid a bit you pull paper is a bit slidy so you just have to be careful again i'm not too worried about that so i'm swift switching over my stamps again this one i'm only going to be i might angle it now the lovely thing about giving yourself an aperture to stamp into, it means you look at your stamp differently. It means when you're lining it up, you kind of pick different elements of your stamp. So you're not seeing the full image. And that's quite interesting when you're doing something like this because it changes the look of the stamp. It almost makes it look like you're working with something completely different. I'm going to take that off now, like so. Come here. My low tack tape is very low tack until I need it to um, to get off and then it decides it's not. There we go. And then we'll get our paper to do the embossing. So at the minute, that's in a circle. So get my white embossing powder. Now, see, oh, have I got thick? No, I haven't. There we go. So that's my white embossing powder. And you can see straight away, it's picked up all that detail. Boom, tidy up so I don't make a mess. And then we'll emboss it. Now, your u paper paper's lovely to work on. Have a look on the website. We might have some on the website. I know I think it was our Lou had some, but it might have sold out, actually. Uh, but have a look, you never know. So, emboss this. Now, all these stamps, because of the detail, they will emboss beautifully. And it just gives you another way of actually using them. I were going to work in this circle and just keep it like that. But as I say, I have changed, changed my mind, which means working in the circle is absolutely irrelevant. However, it's interesting how it makes you look at the stamp. So sometimes it's, a, it's quite a nice practice to, to do because it, it makes you sort of use the space properly. Because you want to stamp and fill that space, it makes you twist the stamp differently. So it, it's definitely worth having a go at it, you know, as a little experiment. Now, because it's u pour paper, I'm gonna use alcohol inks that I hope I can open. So I've got, um, I'm gonna use bright orange, I'm gonna use a blue, and I think I've got, what have I got here? I think I've got a nice pink. So we'll use these, and I've got my, there we go, I've got my very, very dirty, um, little old block here, but that doesn't matter. Now, what I wanted to do, I wanted to colour this in but with the, the alcohol inks because I like the, the brightness of alcohol inks, but then I changed my mind as I do, and I'll show you that in a few seconds. So, just put in the colour on. Now, this is a really nice, a quick way of colouring that image in. Look at that. So, just going round, this is really vibrant, isn't it? And it's a lot more vibrant than the one I did originally. But I love, I love alcohol inks. I just think they look amazing. Now, I actually quite like that. I quite like the vibrancy of that. I think it looks quite fabulous and it's quick. You know, when you want a really quick pop of colour, alcohol inks on Newport are amazing. But obviously we've, you know, we can't see the white anymore. We can't, you know, maybe you've lost a bit of the detail. So in order to get that back, what I did was, um, and this muted it because the one I did originally, it was like, mm, not as keen on that, I want to mute it. So I'm taking my, my cloth and I'm actually taking a blending solution. Then there's loads of blending solutions available that you can use with your alcohol inks. And what I'm doing just on the edge of the cloth, I'm just getting a little bit of the blending solution and just wiping over. Now, look. When you start to take this back off again, it mutes it 
but you can rub on, like if I do it this way, you can rub on that embossing, look, and you can make that pop again. You've still got a bit of colour going on behind. You mute it down quite a lot, but I like this because it gives you a really quite, um, a really subtle effect. Can you see? Now I've actually got that in, oh, I've, there. It does look a bit yin and yang, doesn't it? See, so just, sorry, I'm chatting. Chatting to the voices in my head. There we go. So just pulling that back off again. And again, where it's mucky, just take your cloth. I'm giving that a bit of a scrub. And when I do that, that white will pop. And you can, it's up to you. You can actually be, have it so you've got some bits that are whiter than others. You can have it so you've got some bits that are, have still got a little bit of colouring. You know, it's up to you. The, the thing is, remember when you've actually picked the ink back up again, then you have to, um, you need to sort of clean that off. Otherwise, you're just moving the ink. Do you see what I mean? So I'll show you what I mean. So if I carry on doing this, then all I'm going to do as that gets dirtier, I'm just going to keep moving the ink around. So actually, rather than taking it off the white, I'm just putting it back on the white. But now the reason I like this, A, it's sort of stained the Upo paper. So you've got the blues, you've got the purples. So it's very muted, but you can actually see the swirls. So as you start coming through, you can put um, a bit of texture in there as well. And I've still got in some places, it's still darker than others. So what I'll do, I want that white to pop a bit. So I need a clean, and a clean bit of my tissue. I, made, I know it's a bit of a joke, but you know, it's cleanish. But now if I go in there, look, because this is cleaner, I can really lift the alcohol ink off some of those elements. Now I really like that because this starts to make those, just a few of those elements pop, see? Which I think looks really interesting and different. You know, that's the beauty of stamps. There's so many ways you can use them. Okay, now I'm happy with that. So we put, um, I'm definitely putting the lids back on this, otherwise I'm asking for trouble. So what I have got, yes. I haven't lost it. I tried to keep everything so I could find it again. Um, so I've got my uh, good old circle cutter. What I am going to do is just tape that down um, because I know what I'm like. It'll go scooting across the other side of the room. Pop my circle cutter on, get it sort of central, sort of. Okay, and then let's have a see. So it's about, it's about there-ish that I need to cut one hopes. Might be a bit smaller. But there, you can see when it's cut because it starts to move. Now, when you lift it out, look how pretty that looks. So different from where it started with those really dark, vibrant colours to that really muted tone. But obviously, you've still got the white popping, you know, of the embossing. But it looks, it looks a little bit different. Now, what you can do then is take your pens now this is quite interesting because these are actually our wonderful phil martin who will be on our screens very soon and i know because i've got his show da, 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 me and phil so what you're doing is look you can then and this is interesting because i didn't realize that with phil's pens you could actually then work back over so if you want to add a little bit more color to that if you wanted to, you know, just put a tiny bit of extra colour, you can do that. So that is just going to go back over the top. And I like that because, again, it's introducing a different tone to it. Um, it's adding different shading in there. And it just, it just looks interesting, but it's subtle. So nothing's really, it's not in your face. It's nice and subtle. And that's kind of what I wanted with this one, just for it to be a variation. See, it's nice, isn't it? It looks really toned. So what I'm then going to do is take, I'm going to take purple and then go around with this pen like so. And then you'll be very impressed to know I've actually got matte and layers cut out. 
That never happens, does it? I know, right? Um, don't expect this often. It's a one-off. Now, because I've used uh, you pour paper, I wouldn't, I'd be tempted to use um, a double-sided sticky for this one, just to make it stick down properly. Because you can see it's got sort of, you know, wobbles going on. So just to make that stick down proper. I've, all my nails have decided to break, which is so annoying. Do you know those days where your nails break all at once? Every single nail for some bizarre reason. Do you know the thing? <laughs> oh, I nearly put it like that. That would be foolish. OK, now, when you put this round, look. Now I'm going to pop it there, like that. And look at that, you see. I love how uneven that is. I think that looks really interesting. I'm just going to go around with blue. Actually, I've got blue. I'm just going to whip around there with the blue. Take your water brush, so it's almost like creating a drop shadow. Take your water brush and clean the nib before you just do what I was going to do. Full. <laughs> yeah, purple, Leone, well done. I've been using purple. You'll be able to tell because it's on there. There. And that just gives you, it's almost like a drop shadow but it's doing it with blue and I think that looks really pretty because it, it's kind of um, like a halo on it. So just softening that. Come on, water brush. Water, please. There we go. So just softening that. There we are. Let me just move that like that. Oh, I picked up some purple. All sorts going on there. That's what we're rushing. I want to get onto my witch as well. Seeing it lovely now. What I haven't done is got a sentiment. I will prep that when you're uh, being reminded of what we've got by Haley, because I am going to put that sentiment on here as well. I did put my other sentiment when I did this one. I did put my other sentiment, but have a look. When that is now, and just ignore the back of my paper. <coughs> uh, <laughs> our, uh, oh, loads of my car got stuck together and I just ripped it. But it's okay. It's all right, so the back. Oh, my nails driving me nuts. And then, look at this on that yellow paper. It's a beautiful lemon paper. You put that on there. How pretty is that? That is then going to go on white pa white card, again like that. But then, I will put my sentiment on, but then, take from your paper, take one of your little lemons from the paper. I won't glue it down because I'm going to put my sentiment. But look. If you then put that over the top and that over the top, how pretty do they look like on the top of there? I just, I love that because it just gives it a different look. And obviously, I'm going to put a sentiment on there. So when you see it next time, it will have the sentiment. But I thought the technique is the one I want to show you. And how the stamps work so beautifully with those papers. Now, the papers are there for you. They are really nice. They're such good quality. Remember, all made in America. Fantastic, fantastic brand. Uh, beautiful designs. And obviously, if you do want any of these, um, please check out your basket. The important thing is, as Haley says, um, we're getting these in for you, so you're not having to pay um, extortionate postage, especially if you're not part of a Chanda Freedom. A Chanda Freedom members, you're not paying any postage, uh, so please check your baskets out. Right, I'll get a, a doodah st stuck on me what's it, and over to Haley. <laughs> There's not a lot I can say to that, really, is there? Um, but, of course, leone has been using these fabulous stamps. What a wonderful company. Dare to be artsy. And that's exactly what you've got here. You've got the opportunity to dare to be artsy in so many different ways. Now, each one of these stamp sets have got multiple of stamps within there. So you've got all sorts of sentiments that are depicting to work alongside the fabulous um, artwork that you've got there as well. With a little bit, a little bit of kind of humour in there as well. Um, live life with zest there. You can see squeeze the day um, a family makes a house a home so many different elements within these but you've got so much scope with these I mean the only just shown us and scratch the top of what you can do with these there's gonna be so much that you can be able to work with taking the papers taking the stamps you are going to be able to create some beautiful pieces now the paper that we've got the background here that is part of that set that Leone's just been working with so you can see the versatility to create with these is tremendous the stamps if you wanted to actually die cut some of the stamps do check out we have got dies that will allow you to cut out elements 
just like the peacock that you can see here and those beautiful papers in the backdrop again we have got those available for you everything about this collection just screams out fun humor and freshness i think that's the key thing with these and again here you can see a design here which is um, similar to what we saw from ali only just a few moments ago each of those stamps whether you're going for the hearts whether you're using the peacock whether you're using the hot air balloons you know that the, literally the sky is the limit with regard to your design and what a lovely way of giving somebody a good look card there um they're going off on a new job or something like that the sky is the limit literally um creating these beautiful st um, stamps with the hot air balloons again we have got the opportunity for you to get dyes to allow you to cut out the hot air balloon as well as the witch's um boot and then we have got some additional dyes that will allow you to cut out things like spiders webs the owls again such quirky little characters i mean their little face is absolutely adorable whether you're wanting to kind of bring out the colors from the background papers or whether you want to make them perhaps in more of a traditional style or maybe you'll be going for the one um, one of those sets which again is leone's favorite so much scope with regards to these it really is and of course you placing your order in this hour gets you in that prize draw and in that prize draw we've got three sets of stamps which i'm not sure where they've gone but they are around somewhere we put them in a safe place there they go thank you Leonie. <laughs> these if you have placed an order during this hour already you will already be in the prize draw for these you are going to get some corkers with these stamps we've got three give um, three sets to be given away in this hour simply by placing an order so looking at where 19 um, 20 uh, no 20 40 60 about what 55 pounds worth of stamps within here that is not a bad deal is it if you are the winner of these ones and if you're not during this hour then we have got another three to give away at two o'clock but for the time being if you're wanting your stamps the details are there 699-855 pop them into your basket and perhaps alongside the dies because we've got a variety of different dies the um we uh, the wedding boot it could be a wedding boot couldn't it if you wanted it to be a wedding boot and um, the witch's boot um you can see there cut out the stamp with the this particular die here 21 pounds and 99 pence 460333 um at the spider web this one it doesn't actually cut out the stamp it's slightly different sizing but it's a beautiful corner to use or put them all together and make a larger spider web um, you've got the little um, bats there spiders the word boop um, as well as the little um, the stars there's a nice little um, set the lemon zest set this is a nice one because of course you have got the stamps that this is going to work alongside this one comes on a magnetic sheet as well so you've got storage straight away 12.99 at 532.687 um, but there's more there is more to share with you check this one out as well I think you like this one for the hot air balloon brilliant shape there um, it, it could be a light bulb as well to be honest couldn't it or it could be a petal there's lots of different ways you could use that one um, 18.99 for that one the peacock is another gorgeous design again it's just something a little bit different and being able to cut those out in multiples is a brilliant idea and again another one that comes on the magnetic sheet um, this one's got a freedom members discounted price um, so uh, yeah we're popping it in alongside that freedom members discounted priced stamp to work alongside it 21.99 if you're not a freedom member for that particular one and of course you've got papers that are going to work so well alongside those as well the quality of these phenomenal i mean looking at these straight away as leone said they kind of scream william morris don't they those designs absolutely beautiful arts and crafts designs with these throughout gorgeous clear images there you could fussy cut these you could use these as inspiration i love this one with the peacock never have a thought about a peacock being paisley shaped but it is when you actually look at it it is gorgeous pieces beautiful colors double-sided prints beautiful with these pick out the colors for your stamps from these potentially use a little use a lot of these it's entirely up to you but you are getting multiple sheets you're getting 16 double-sided sheets in total with these brilliant value for money and they're a must-have to work alongside those stamps many of those elements echoed in the stamps and dies so um, 598017 19 pounds and 99 pence again for those as well lemon bliss is the next one that we're going to share with you um, and this is the one that leone has been working with and again what's not to love about this something really fresh and funky and it's got a youthfulness about this particular set lovely design by um, Andy as you can see there um, you've got your 12 double-sided sheets with these um, and again there you go Leone has created the most incredible finished sample if you have just joined us um, then do go back and watch on rewind and if you have ordered these already don't forget for up to 60 days you can go back and watch how Leone created this lovely design absolutely beautiful when life hands you lemons, make something sweet. 
good advice that one um, if you fancy getting hold of this one then 046536 a perfect addition to any basket including one that's got the seven day savers in it um, they are brilliant jump onto the website they're all there you're saving over 90 percent oh my goodness and the gray board i have to say is brilliant saw that this morning in good morning Hachanda. check them all out you've got three days 20 hours 19 minutes and approximately 20 seconds to take advantage of those um, but um, we haven't got to wait that long because we have got our lovely leone here so there's going to be lots more happening in this hour uh, just make sure you keep checking those baskets out folks i don't want anybody missing out on anything so uh, yeah whatever you've got in there check the basket out thank you miss hilly right it had to be the witch's boot didn't it if not that is the most popular you're with me see a witch's boot is definitely not just for halloween is it it's a good, strong boot. Um, okay, where did I put? There I put. So what I'm going to do, first of all, we've got the boot, which is marvellous. I wanted to use this with the papers, and it works a treat. So what I'm doing is, I love these papers. See, now that is the bottom of the paper. You know the, the reorder bar? Brilliant. That is so pretty. And it's the kind of papers that, you know, you keep all the scraps. They are absolutely exquisite. So I'm stamping and embossing on here. So I'm using my, um, I'm using an Adirondack, but it is a uh, pigment. So I've got that and I'm actually stamping on my gorgeous paper. Stamping in the corner. Not too closely, honey. You need to die cut it. Remember, not to self. <laughs> and then I have actually got one ready. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to be because I've so, <laughs> I've so much on. Because this weekend, um, well, Thursday tomorrow, we've got um, an ODS for um, Prima. So I've got that much. My little brain, I'm actually trying to be organised for once. I mean, I'm organised with this, which means there'll be about 50 other things I forgot to do in the rest of my life. <laughs> That's the way it works. You know, oh, right. Not, so, if, I mean, if you want to at home, I need to um, ring the dentist. Definitely need to do that. What else do I need to do? Got a list as long as me am. But at least I've got my demos prepped. So that's all right. Okay, so ring the dentist. I really need to do that today. So, <laughs> you do you do know now. Now I've said that out loud. There'll be people emailing, won't there? They'll be on Facebook, lovely Leone, did you ring the dentist? It'll be like having, you know, 12 different mums reminded me, won't it? Oh, like, oh no, don't harass me. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing, I'm actually, the only image I want, well, I want that one and I want that one, but because I know I've got dies for that one, I might as well stamp them all at the same time. I might as well. I might as well cut them out at the same time because then at least they're ready for next time. So just, I love these little boots. They're just quite fabulous, aren't they? See, when I saw these stamps as well, I was thinking of, you know, there's so many gorgeous papers out there that are um, that are thingy ones, Wizard of Oz ones. You know, that kind of look. So anything like that. I think any time I see funky boots like that, that's just what I think of. So stamping on my mucky paper, but that absolutely doesn't matter. I like things like this. You know when you have got white card and you've made a right mess of it? Do you know what I mean? You've got ink splats on it and everything. Use it for stuff like this because you're only seeing a tiny bit of it. Look at those boots. Who wouldn't want to own boots like that? They're, they're wonderful. And I love the sentiment in this collection. The um, which and all which, it's all about the boots. I just think, all about the shoes even, I just think that is such a good sentiment. So let that, let's get that stamped up as well. You will be glad to know I've actually cut all these out so it's okay. So, I know, I think I have. I mean, I don't know where I've put it, but I know I've cut it out. Okay, so, <laughs> so we've got that ready. And it is nice to do extras. You know, when you're doing stuff like this, it's nice to have extras because then it means that you've always got a little stash. So I'm putting white and uh, clear embossing powder on. I said white because I were absolutely making sure I didn't put white on. And my brain was saying, make sure I didn't white. Okay, so that's your clear embossing powder. Again, I'm using all the wow stuff, like so. And let's get that heat embossed. So I've got that on the white card, and then there. So that's on the white card, 
and then this lovely shoe is on here. Now, how much time I've got? Quarter. That's not too horrendous. Now, look, as that embosses, you can see that image start to pop through. Now, I wanted to do this because I thought that looks really busy. You can hardly see the shoe. And it's like, mm, are we going to make that pop? And that's why I thought it's a really nice one to show. So that's there. And then, obviously, these images are just going to pop. Now, remember, with these stamps, you have got the dies that match. You've got the papers, and the papers go beautifully together. I mean, those papers go with everything. I must admit, they are absolutely exquisite. Um, the details are there. If you do want the papers, 598-017 is your item number. The £19.99 is very good quality. And you're actually getting uh, three of each design. So you are getting a lovely bundle of papers. I like that you get three of each design. Because when it's double-sided papers, it's awful trying to choose. If you only get one of each design, it's awful trying to choose. But you are... Oh, is it four of each? brilliant that is really good so you've got you know you're not too worried about what you're cutting up okay now you're gonna have to excuse me this is really been i will get myself some new plates so i'm gonna go on like that i am definitely using because my plates are so bent it is absolutely vital i use my tape because if not uh, it's it's doomed, isn't it? Doomed, which I know is a bit of a statement. So pop that on like that. I mean, not doomed, it just doesn't cut it out proper. Put that one out like that. And I'm taking my time doing this because it's worth it. Um, the other two for now, I'm not going to cut out just for time because I know I've got it sorted. So, so just for time now, you stay there. You stay there. What I wanted to do while we're doing this is cutting out, I wanted to cut out, where have I put it? The other, mm, wait a minute, sorry. Where's my other die gone? My other witch's die. Could I steal it off you? Because I don't know where I've put it. Is that, shall I go? Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. It's okay, it's there. Right, see, I want to cut this one out as well, which I'm going to have to faff now. Hey, see what I did there? Which, so, do that. Could have had a little competition, couldn't we? <laughs> like, well, I think, you know, who in your life would you, would you give the title? <laughs> but we won't do that. Because that could be cheeky and end up in trouble. Or it could be quite nice. I don't think it's a bad thing. OK, so I know who mine will go to. So there we go. <laughs> We've all got a few, haven't we? Uh, and they're all fairy tales. Okay, so I'll pop it like that. I'm just checking that that isn't moving. Now, the other die that I'm using is out of the other set of dies. So these don't actually cut out the, um, the actual stamped image, but I wanted to show you it because it's really nice to see how you can mix and match them. Now, I am aware of time, so I probably won't get this finished, but you never know. I've got it sort of stamped up, so who knows? So, and I have coloured them, so I don't need to faff with that. So you can see, you've got, and obviously these ones I'll keep for um, for next time I'm die cutting. So pulling that off like that. Oh, now gang, you've got, right, about three minutes to check your baskets out if you want to be in with a chance of getting those lovely giveaway stamps. They are cool. Um, and about, I didn't know we were doing this, but because we've had so many fantastic brand new companies joining us, um, we've been having some wonderful giveaways. So yeah, if you do want those, check your baskets out. There will be another set of stamps, different stamps, in the two o'clock hour, which are also being given away. Now look at this. This is lovely. Come here. It's all come out, but didn't get it proper. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a nice die is that. So, so let's get now. The important thing with this is when you look at it like that, the, the pattern is so heavy, you don't really see the pattern on the shoe. So the way we can actually uh, colour this in is with our Distress Oxides. And this is really interesting because I didn't know if this would work. It works an absolute treat. I'm not going to do the full thing. I've already got one finished and I want to get this card assembled. Um, but look, so as you colour this in, 
It's stamped and embossed, so of course I'm zooming around those embossed lines. So some of the images I'll keep open so I can see the actual stamp, the proper paper behind it. But the actual um, Distress Oxide, it doesn't completely cover the paper image. What it does, it gives a tone on top of it, but you can still see the design under it. But it just allows the boot to pop more. I mean, you can see it straight away. And I really like that because it gives it such a different look. And it's nice working with your rings because you'll more than likely have those sat next to you. You know, I do. They're, they're actually by me sort of almost all the time. So just whipping around there now and you can see the paper. Oh, I missed that boot. I cut that really badly. All this is extra, but it doesn't matter because I've got one I prepared earlier. Bless you. Now, look, can you see? So what I've done, coloured that in. I've coloured that in. Look, ones I prepared earlier. Dink, dink, ta-da. Now, the popping, you want to use white gel pen. I've got a Secura gel pen here. That, on any of this detail, see? I've put it on my little stars, and look. That'll make those pop. Just tiny bits of detail like that always, always works. Like on this one, you know, you've got a little bit here that I'm going to put on, but then just a little bit coming down like that. And I just think your white gel pen, I mean, I know we all use white gel pens, but they're your friend. And on this, you see, on this, now you could use white embossing powder, but I just think the white gel pen looks really, really effective because it just makes it, I've cut it out of like a beautiful, like a grape colour card, but that, it just gives it that, you know when you've got morning dew on a web and it gives it that really cool kind of uh, glitter, that's kind of, for me, that's what this is doing. I mean, you could put um, glitter on that as well, that would work on that web. And it, you could cut it out of all sorts. It takes a bit of time, but not really. I mean, it works so well. So a little bit, I'm not being perfect, it's just giving it a little bit of highlight. Right, so I really like that. That's such a nice die. That die set's lovely. You've got the web, you've got the um, the little bat in there. What else have I got in there? Oh, it's there. You've got spider, you've got boo. You've got the stars as well. Real, I really like that one. It's a lovely, lovely set. Okay, so the way I've done this. I've already got my paper ready, so that's there, okay? We'll stick that together really quickly. So I've got my gorgeous card. I'm using grape. The other one I did use black. Um, truth is, I didn't bring black into the studio, so I had to use what I got, which were great. But then, but I really liked it with these papers. I really like that colour. That sort of, I don't know, it's not a... It's not a perfect colour match and I quite like that. And I thought, oh, now that would look really cool just under there like that. Because on the original, I actually stamped it. So the original, I used my stamp and I'll just show you, if it, I'll be quick. So if I get purple, so I'm going to get my purple Distress Oxide, okay, just take my stamp like this. I know exactly where I want to go, about there. Now, because it's an oxide, you can't see a thing. Because it's an oxide, <laughs> I'm hoping... Yeah, I haven't stamped that very well. It's not because it's an oxide, it's because of bad stamping. So, oh, I've wet it now, and I'm, now I'm running out of time, aren't I? How much time have I got? Mm, OK. Yeah, you can't even see that. Let me just try that again. Let's use blue. Oh, I am stubborn, aren't I? So I'm still going to do it. Where did I put my stamp? Oh, see, I was so organised. This is what organised gets you. Nowhere. <laughs> is our Hayley coming on in? She is. She's on her way, folks. We're saved. Our Hayley's coming in. That's better. Can you see the blue? Yes. You can see the purple. Now I've got an overstamp. Hello, our <laughs> lovely Hayley. Right. I felt like I needed a superhero cape the way you were talking there. <laughs> Everything's Hayley. all right. Hayley's coming no in. No panic. So, I know, right, as if I'm panicking. <laughs> right, put the, the little web. I'm going to glue everything down. Ain't that web cool? I love that. 
Yeah, I'd like I'm that a lot. Just yeah. gonna. So that paper is just Ooh, the most beautiful. Nice. Let's put it that way so I'm right way around. And there we go. So I've got the gorgeous paper glued on. I'm going to pop that underneath there so it's just coming in at the edge. Nice. Like so. And then my wonderful boot. So I'm going to put my boot <laughs> a bit there. And that one is going to go there. Doesn't that look fabulous? And then where's my spider? My spider is going to be about there. Oh, perfect. And then this, of course. But I'm going to matte and layer it. Yeah. But won't that look fabulous? Like that. And actually, I mean, that one, I'm going to put it on that side, actually. Because I think that looks quite I marvelous. like the quirky cut that you've done there as well. That works mm. well with it, doesn't it? It does yeah. work well because yeah. I think it is all quirky. It's all yeah. fabulous. When I were die cutting this, I did die cut um, extra circles. So oh, if you okay. wanted to put that back in again, yes. you know, and create a frame, yeah. it's always worth doing that. It's always worth doing an extra an extra layer mm -hmm. because that'll allow you to use a board it yeah. if you want to. But I actually like this one without. It's just about kind of playing around before you commit yourself to it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Who's won our stamps? Yeah. We've got our competition winner. Drum roll for Faye. Congratulations, Faye, Faye Edwards. Um, congratulations, Says. I have to say. Hey, Faye, these they are beautiful. are fabulous. You are winning all of these. So, yeah, congratulations. Um, really pleased for you. A little bit jealous, I'm not going to lie. I'm, as well, I'm jealous. They are, yeah, they They're are really, really I love the stinking beautiful. ones. They are so funny. Because what does it yeah. say on there? St you're stinking awesome. Please bring some of these to us, because I think these would be really <laughs> good fun. This is one of the ones that's going um, off to Faye. So, it's, uh, your little skunk, as you can see there. I mean, adorable to start with but you're so stinking awesome or so stinking smart so <laughs> stinking um, cute there have a stinking birthday you make me so stinking happy <laughs> i love it it's the kind of things that you do say though isn't it she yeah, yeah. so well i think done. that's really fun um, now if you weren't saying you didn't win this hour then don't worry you've got the second opportunity at um two o'clock so do join leone um, and janice it'll be a different set of stamps no, so same uh, set, oh it's same set of stamps being given away yes sorry oh is it different designs Different designs Different being given designs, away. Yes, yes. Sorry, sets. sorry, sorry. I think you meant on the show. I thought. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> you know uh, what we mean. <laughs> Join me only at two o'clock. Do stay tuned though. Yanis is coming up after the break with our lovely Joe Chandler. And I'll be teaming up at one o'clock. One day special slot with Natasha. Except it's not uh, technically the one day special. <laughs> but it's William Morris. <laughs> <laughs> 